Hey, this is Flo, and in this video I will give you the introduction to the May app challenge from Code with Chris. Last month we have built together the weather app over a course of nine videos, and this month I will do uh, something very similar. I will make a series of tutorials, which in the end will build a stocks app, which is the challenge for this month by Code with Chris. Um, of course, I will link this blog post in the video description, and by participating once again, you can win a forum badge. Let's get into the challenge now. So the time frame is exactly one month. So it starts on May 1st and goes until June 1st. Actually, it's not even May for me yet, but that's because of time zone differences, I guess. Okay, uh, the app requirements. So this challenge asks you to build a stock tracking app to get the current price of an editable list of stocks. The goal of creating the stock trading app is to be comfortable with getting and displaying data from an API and also modifying what data is obtained. Okay, sounds pretty simple. Let's get into the basic requirements. It should use an API. For that, I will use the Alpha Vantage API because it's free to use and it has a couple uh, of endpoints. I can show you one of them right here, for example. And um, as you can see, it has basically all the info that you need. There's really nothing else that, uh, that is needed. I will put this documentation website into the video description so you can also check it out. You can get an API key for free on that website. Then there should also be a list of stocks with respective prices and changes in dollar. You should be able to edit the list of stocks, so uh, add and remove stocks and have the option to remove and add stocks. Okay, yeah. Bonus specification. All of these list things should be persisted. A further challenge, create a local push notification for when a stock reaches a target price. I think we will skip this one actually. Second further challenge, validate symbols when adding stocks by checking for duplicates, empty fields, and if the symbol is valid after it's added. Not 100% sure about this one either, but um, we will look into it. And then um, there will also be a video by Chris, which I will link in the video description once it's out. And um, they will also post their solution code on June 1st. So what we are going to do is, as I've already told you, we will use the Alpha Vantage API, probably with this endpoint here. And then I will just rebuild the main UI of the Apple Stocks app. So what I will do is create a list, create a search bar, um, have an edit button so you can add and remove stocks, um, show you how to create a line graph like this, and obviously also show the current value. Okay, that's it for this introductory video, and in the next one we will start building the UI. See you then!